But it's time. So let's get cooking. Welcome to Snow Day here with Black Dog Fitness uh, slash the Parkinson's Gym. I can do this every once in a while. I'll go back and change uh, change my branding. There's the old brand of Black Dog Fitness is lurking back there, but we got the new one. So I'm sticking with the Parkinson's Gym. If you're not already a subscriber to the YouTube Parkinson's Gym, well, now's your time. Get out there and, and do your thing. How many people we got here? 10. That's amazing. We're getting double digits, man. This is nuts. Okay. Um, hope things are good. It is snowy and icy here in Knoxville. Uh, if you're not in Knoxville, well, it's snowy and icy here. Um, I'm going to boot this down just slightly so you don't have to see as much of my ceiling. But we'll get going. Ready? Fantastic. Things you can do with snow. Uh, if you're going to play our little uh, get to know you, what's your favorite thing uh, to do with or in the snow? Uh, currently, we are uh, building stuff right outside the garage here because, you know, <laughs> what needs to come and go from the garage that might that not knock down structures? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, some people eat snow. I don't recommend the yellow. It is not lemon. Uh, quite, quite different. But chime in if you'd like or text, etc. If you got favorite things to do with or in the snow. Otherwise, shut your cake hole and let's get going. Wide open. Straight open wide. Pull your fingers back as far as you can. All right. Now take it all the way forward. Roll it out. Oh, shoulders apart. <clears throat> Let's take it super crazy wide open again. And one more time over the front. Pull your hands apart. Stretch your fingers out. And now pull back. So pull elbows straight back and long. And then push forward again. Fingers out like you're doing some emotional interpretive dance. Pull back tight. Push back forward. And pull back tight. Oh, yeah. Sucky ducky. Well, over to your chair or balance assistance device of your choice. Lean into it a little bit and just sling out your leg. It's like I'm realizing black clothing and black flooring uh, starts to blend in. Sorry about that. Did not think. I said, even wear like every once in a while you see a weatherman wear like green and they they become one with the weather. Oh, just easy, loose swing, get some blood running through your legs and your hips, and all that kind of stuff. So this time, sort of lean into your chair, and you're gonna lateral swing, uh, just a loose, easy swing across, swishing, and now lateral swing this way. It's a little, you might see puddles and stuff on the floor because this is our airlock between the house and the outside. That's okay. That's what garages are for. Let's take it all the way around one shoulder. Big, full surface. Other one. Go as big as you can. Full range of motion through that shoulder. Uh, you don't want to go, if this hurts, uh, don't do it. Pain hurts all the way around. Big old shoulders. All right. Big fancy dancy stance here. Feet out, just comfortable. You don't have to be parallel. You don't have to be uh, third position or whatever that is in ballet. And just take it over the front. Ooh. Oh, my hamstrings. My hamstrings have always hated me. Speaking of hamstrings, we watched Society of the Snow last night, you know, where the, the rugby team eats each other. Well, they eat the dead ones. Lean over. It's not bad. It's gruesome. It is a testament to the will of humanity. But they didn't have any recipes. I was that was disappointing. Up and over the other side. Straight up and down, over the front. Black egg, easy over. Why are you down here? Let's uh, let's do some straight back flies. So stiff arm, pterodactyl flies. 
Of course you know why you can't hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom. The pee is silent. <laughs> Reach forward, big full twist. <laughs> that deserves a smoker's laugh. <laughs> Back and forth. Reach forward, cast your spell. Now I'm starting to warm up. So twist through your center. Don't just reach your hands. You're not a Muppet. I want you to reach through the middle. Oh, that feels pretty good. <laughs> pretty good, yeah. Um, let's see, what do we want? Let's take a big old step forward. This is all the stuff we always do on Mondays. I'd hate to take you out of your routine. Good, long, straight stance. Hinge your hips, square forward and then lean into that front knee. If you can, you're up on your toe in the back, give your cat something to do. Oh man, oh man. So we're trying to figure out when they say there's 80% chance of snow. So my theory is that means, switch legs, by the way, 80% of the times there's been this situation, it has snowed. Some people say that means it's going to rain, and rain, snow, et cetera in 80% of the area covered by said forecast. Oh, well. I think that's the way the weather people hedge their bets. They're like, might, might not. <laughs> Can't blame me. <laughs> all right, let's go all the way across. Reach all the way across and hold. Full big rotation. Again, you're not leaning. I just want you to twist. Oh my gosh. And twist the other way. Twist. This time, throw your arm around the back. And twist. And twist. A couple more times. Zook. Work. Other side. Work. Okie dokie. Good. Hmm. We have done. Let's tip your head. Shake it out a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. And tip your head right and kind of nod a little bit, like you're grooving along with music, despite there not being any music. And tip your head the other way, uh, listen to your shoulder, nod. Yeah, man, creepy tunes. Up straight, tuck your head down, now kind of roll it left and right. Now normally I don't recommend people practicing tucking their head down because I think we get plenty of practice tucking our head down on our phones eating devices, etc. This time, rock it back and forth, chin to your clavicles. All right, now, turn your head right. Look far right as you can. Stand up tall, shoulder back. Turn your head left. Turn your head right. And one more time left. So, you get what you train for. If you train for this and this, that's what you're gonna get, is this. But if you train like this and you train to keep your body up this way, that's what you're gonna get. Super dignified, awesome posture. Don't screw it up. All right, I am definitely warming up. Uh, so take a little break, get a little water. I'm gonna have a costume change. It's gonna sound like a windstorm. It's okay, it's not. It's not topless day. So the first time I had some snooty friends, we went and visited them one time and realized we do not fit in with them. They said, let's go to a tapas bar. <laughs> I didn't know what tapas was. I could have sworn he said tapas. So when I showed up and everybody was wearing clothes and I'm not, I was, it was very awkward. No, it, I just I was like, did he say tapas? We're going to a tapas bar? We're going to a tapas bar? It, it's not. It's small food. It's sort of stupid, actually. But um, it's this one. <laughs> Don't get me started on a gender reveal. I was the only naked one. I went to a gender reveal party, and everybody's like, what the hell is that? I'm like, whoa. <laughs> okay, here we go. Have a seat. 
What I want you to do, sit up crazy ridiculous tall, right up on the edge of your chair, and just hang over the front. So your knees are wide, your shoulders kind of hang forward, loosen everything up. And just try to relax every single damn muscle in your back, even your head, your neck, all right. Now sit up all the way tall. Take your arms straight out to your side like a big T. All right, take it back forward. Relax. Let it go back up one more time. Pull, pull your fingers like you are being drawn and quartered. Yeah, yeah. Roll with it. Forward. And back up. All right. One more time of those. So take it all the way forward. Relax. You can't get your hands to the floor. Your goal is to get your shoulders and your knees next to each other. Don't like have anyone stand on your back until you can do that. Raise your left arm. Just a nice, easy twist. Kind of lean right shoulder into right knee. And then put your hands down. Raise your right arm. Easy twist through the lower back. That's fun. Let's go back to the other side. Back down. Relax. Up and through. Now, as always, if anything hurts, don't do it. Don't tell me everything hurts. Other hand, last time. And back down. All right, stack it all back up one bone at a time. Bring your knees together. What I want you to do this time is lie down on your thighs. You don't hear that, Andy. Up forward, slump down over your thighs. And again, let everything roll out. The idea of this is by putting your thighs and your hips underneath you this time, you get a little roll out through your lower back. Whoa. Ridiculousness has a purpose. All right, stack it all back up. Come out to that T again. Pull your fingers back. Forward, roll it. Lower back. Just relax. Your trapezius illatissimus, your quadratus laborum, your wiblets illatissimus. Back up tall last time. Watch out, you know. <laughs> okay, sit nice and tall. Take your left hand, put it on your right knee. Now take your right hand and put it over your head. Now put your left, sorry, it's not saying if you could fall for a twister. Left hand, right knee, turn left. Easy, nice and tall. All right, right hand, left knee, turn left. So you're staying tall, wringing yourself like a, out like an old dish rag. Other side again, easy turn, easy turn. Went to a job interview one time, and they said, how would you describe yourself? I said verbally, but I do have an interpreted dance prepared. I didn't get that job. It's very weird. Other side last time. All right. Straight forward. Let's get a little stretch. Kick one leg right out in front of you. It doesn't matter which one. We're going to do both. Sit super tall, fold down, just hang down on top of that. Tramp. There we go. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, my hip's not, not liking me today. Just relax on top of that leg. Other legs, push. Hold it for Same energy. They said it's important that you're able to function in a stressful environment. Can you perform under pressure? I said no, but I can do a great rendition of Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't know what the problem is. They're not funny people. All right, here we go. Right angle to your left knee. Sit up tall. And now I want you to sort of hang forward like you're going to take your chest to your shin. Or you're going to bite your shin. Easy now. You're not trying to rip your glutes out of your body. You're just trying to get a slight stretch through your glutes. Not if I wanted to rip your glutes out of your body. Well, that go back to last night's movie. <laughs> you switch. Ankle to knee, nice and tall. Hinge forward. You should feel this in your glute. Donk a donk, butt, trunk, rear, caboose. Oh, man. That is a loud damn clock. All right, here we go. Back to enough of that. I think we've had our fun here. 
And then any other fun stuff, I've turned, we've bent, we've stretched, we've twisted. I believe that'll do. So get some push your stuff out of the way. We're gonna jump around. No, I'll jump around a little bit. We're gonna do some power moves. Power moves were developed by the Byzantine Empire. No. Power moves are uh, I was thinking, how would you like to be have been like the king, the founder of the Ottoman Empire, only to be known forever and ever as the empire that puts their feet up? Ottoman, really? That's, I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Okay, I want you to stand forward, take a big step forward, and I'll push it back. Big step forward, push it back. Stay tall, step forward, push, step, push, step. Push, lead with your toe up, heel out, and back, step, back, step. You can make the noise, it helps, step, back. All right, left to right, left foot goes out, back up tall, right foot goes out, back up center. Anytime you hit center, I want you to slump, and hey, slump, up, all the way up. Check out your crown molding. I don't have it in the garage. Up and up. Okay, we've done forward, we've done side to side. Now we're gonna do backwards, just a little bit. I'm not gonna walk backwards like penguin that didn't get wound up. If you need some sort of a balance assistance device, bring that by, but you're just gonna touch tall, touch tall, touch tall. Maybe a little further back. Just touch. Just touch. No touching. Reach way back. Touch. Way back. Touch. Speaking of penguin, did you know that the literal interpretation for penguin in, in Mandarin is business goose? <laughs> Here we go. We're taking this step and forward again. I want you to take your left foot forward but your right hand forward and then switch right foot left hand switch left foot right hand don't do this right right okay once so you go left right and back like a car salesman put her there reach step reach back step reach step and reach open up your hand Straighten out your arm, stay tall, back, step and reach. Check that you're not Frankenstein. I call Frankenstein, right, right, left, left, that's Frankenstein. Car salesman, Frankenstein. Sometimes the difference is minor, but you know what I mean. All right, let's go forward, both hands, reach. Reach back, reach. Okay, open up your arms. Big, big stretch. I'm warming up, but I can tell it's still chilly. Step back, step back, step. Open up your hands. Back. Let's get five more. Three, one. Two, one more, four. Breaking the societal norms. Nobody ever said numbers had to be in a row. Right order. All right, this time I want you, it's like a uh, flamboyant football referee. You're gonna step straight forward and go straight up. All right, straight forward, back. I sort of oscillate a little bit so you can see this from different angles. You, you don't have to oscillate. It sounds like an extinct uh, marine bird. Stretch. Back. Stretch. Oh, ocelot. That's what I'm thinking. Stretch. Back. Stretch. One more. All right. Okie dokie. On to lateral. So you know you've already got this. We've already got, I call this no hands. 
Now let's do same side. So you're gonna reach outboard same side. That means the same side you're stepping is the same side you're reaching. You're reaching outboard of your body. Let's get six of these six, five, and four, big step, big hand, three. Oh, I went in order. Two, one, okie dokie. Now, I want you to reach across. So your right leg and your left arm are moving together and vice of the versa. Left leg, right arm. Here we go. Up like you're not doing anything. Other side. Other side. Now, if you're getting tired, you can definitely do these seated. You can do Just when you thought tired was a decent excuse. <laughs> step back, step back, step back. One more step back. Okie dokie. Now, inboard. Left foot stepping, right hand reaching. It's kind of jazzy. So I want you to step and reach. Turn your hand, turn your head. Five more. One, five, two, four, and three. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so we've done same side outboard, same side outboard. Inboard, inboard, across outboard, across outboard. Now we go across inboard. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Step and left, reaching with your right. Oh, shit. Sorry. Step and with your right, reaching with your right, but across your body. I picked this up from John Travolta. This legs so weird. Cross. Across, okay? Outside foot, outside arm goes inside. Five more. Five. Ivy. I, I, I. I, I, and I. Nice. You know what caused the break of the Roman Empire for it to separate into two different empires? It was a pair of Caesars. So I probably should be alone. All right, here we go. We're going to put all this together, meow. All right. Oh, one more. Both hands, both. Both hands one side. Two. Both hands the other side. Whoop. Five of these. You know, trays, quattro, cinco. All right. It's time. So no hands, no hands. Outside, outside. Inside, inside. Across, outside, across, outside, across, inside, across, inside, both sides. All right, here we go. I'll go with you. No hands out. No hands. Okay. Same side out. Same side out. In. In. Across and out. Across and out. You don't have to make that noise. Across and in. <laughs> yeah. Across and in. Both. Ta -da! And. All right. <laughs> Gears are grinding. Let's go. No hands. Same thing. No hands. No hands. Reach out. Reach out. Straight arm, big hand. Reach in. Straight arm, big hand. Straight legs, too. Reach in. Across and out. Across and across and in. <laughs> across and in. Both out. Both out. All right. I ain't gonna say nothing. You gotta do it. Just watch it. Because if I stood here and just looked at you, well, I can't see you, so that would be weird. All right, let's go. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
What's next? Yep. And triple. Huh? Big smack. Mm -hmm. Stand on. Both. Big finish. Big finish. <laughs> I always thought a big finish was a guy named Sven. Next, about six, seven. <laughs> okay, a little bit of skiing in honor of the weather. If you need water, get water. If you need to sit down and sit here and watch me do the exercise, don't. No, that's not loud. All right, here we go. Step back, touch back, boop, touch back, boop, touch back, boop. Okay, now you're going to do same side. Right foot, right hand, left foot, left hand. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. So they're going in opposite direction. Imagine you're tightening your shoelaces. Let's do a few more of those. All right, and all right. Yoink, give yourself a shoe wedgie. Yoink, and five, and four, three, and, and one. All righty. You're going to step forward with your left foot. Reach forward to the right. Go back to that car salesman thing. Here we go. And various forms of ski. Reach and reach and reach and reach. A few more. Three. Up. Two. <laughs> Both hands, let's go no feet this time, like you're a downhill skier. All the way overhead, okay? All the way overhead, not, uh, not, uh, and then pew, up, one, up, two, nice and smooth, three, here we go, four, five. Six, seven, big all the way up, eight, nine, and ten. Sweet. Now, touch back. That's not what I want. I want this. <laughs> so you're going to touch back and reach at the same time. One, and one. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, reach farther. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it back up. One, two, head up. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one. Oh, Ooh, uh, I shoulders sure felt that one. Okie dokie. Stepping forward, stepping sideways, stepping backwards. I think we hit all the stepping. We step in Wolf. All right. Wolf Blitzer. Whatever happened to him? Welcome to my mind. All right, here we go. Take a quick break. Get a little bit of water. Get your weighties near you so that you can pick them up. And we're going to move on to the next phase of awesomeness. You probably didn't even know they were in her faces. All right. Actually, the clock is actually right. We haven't been here for two hours. All right. We get some very endearing and personal email messages from people I don't know. Um, they're like, Hello, we hope you're fine. All things are great. We all think about you all the time. Um, I don't have any idea who they are. All right, here we go. Grab the weighties, mateys. These are weights. They're not car batteries. All right, what I want you to do, stand super tall. If you got soup cans, if you just want to pick up the dog, some two-by-fours, whatever you got that's got a little bit of weight to it. Here we go. By your, by your, up by your shoulders, back down. Stay tall. 
If you train like this, you're gonna look like this. That's not sexy. No, that's sexy. Here we go. 10, and nine, and eight, seven, and six. Can't hear you, stand up tall. I forgot what number one. Two and one. Good stuff. Stand up super tall. I want you to squat like you're putting down a set of suitcases and then stand it right back up. Balls crazy tall. Here we go. One, two, three, all the way up. Four. Look at me. Five, six, seven. Butt back, feet on the floor. Eight. Let's do 12. Nine. 10, 11, D, and 12. All right, stand crazy tall. Whoop, straight out to your sides. Like you are stuck between two pieces of plywood but still want to get a good workout. But don't take the weights above your shoulders. Again, if this hurts, don't do it. Think of something else creative to do. I forgot to count. Mm -hmm. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right, easy one. Just take your heels up. This past Halloween, we were trying to count as many vampires that we could come up with. And we got Dracula and it was Dracula's kids. I don't know. Did he have children? And like an uh, interview with a vampire and several others. And I said, uh, the Muppet, the Muppet. And Jenny said, he doesn't count. Oh, but he does. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, let's take it straight up. Straight up. Full extension. Push your weights all the way outside of the screen. Now, you don't want to be here. That's not up. That's the right out. I want up. Like you're gonna mash your head with your biceps. Elbows forward, not this, that's bad. Straight forward. Three, two, one. Oh, up, knees up. I'm gonna revisit some of my favorite jokes from the past. Why did the uh, Clydesdale give the pony a cough drop? Because he was a little horse. <laughs> That's why I have to be alone. Hinge forward. Knees are bent. Back is straight. And you're going to fly. Here we go. One, two. Straight back behind you. Three, four. If you back start to stop. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more for the burn. Eleven, twelve. Oh, that'd be nice. Straight forward. Wait a minute. We need the legs. Um. Oh, sumo. Sumo squat. All right. Weights are just sort of hanging out in front of you. Wide feet straight down. Stand it back up. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, all the way up. Five, pinch your butt. Six, I think. Seven, up. Eight, up. I clench your butt. Don't pinch your butt. Nine, one more. Ten. I see you. Hang on. I don't understand this. No, clench your butt. Every time you stand up, Pucker up. Okay, we have done out. We have done fly. What was I going to do before we start? Oh, yeah. Um, elbows bent. Lean forward in a mildly athletic position. And then extend your elbows. Only your elbows, not your shoulders. Woo! I want just your elbow. And don't swing. This doesn't help anybody. Drop, extend. Drop, extend. Let's go. In one. And two. I can't do it. Three and four. Five. 
full extension. Six. If you can't get full extension, put your weights down. So, eight, nine, ten. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Those are our do steps. Back of your arms. We don't call them triceps anymore because we do. We don't try. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me either. Um, we have done wide. Let's do a split stance squat. So you can either hang out right here, but that's pretty wobbly, and do a straight down squat, like a split squat, as they call it. Or you can do forward lunges. Both of them are fairly similar. Step, push back. You're bending both knees. Let's go one, and two, three. And four, five, and six. Oh, that's a burst. Seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. If you were switching, keep switching. If you were split, switch. One, two. One of my least favorite exercises in the whole damn world. The eight. Nine, ten, grr. Awesome. Forward. All right. Just take thumbs forward, straight in front of you. Here we go. One, two, three. If you need a little break, have a seat. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, one more, ten. All right. Oh, okay. So lean forward, similar to what we just did. The more horizontal you can get your back, the better. But don't don't break anything. I want you to just a uh, stiff arm back behind you. One, two. Three, head up, four, five, six. It's not weird at all, is it? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are pretty awesome. Okay. Squats, lunges, curls, presses, flies. Ooh. Okay. And if you're out there, this one's for you. Okay. You are at... 90 degrees, and I want you to just open up and let it down. Open up, let it out. Hey! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Whose stupid idea was that? All right, here we go. Elbows up. I call this scarecrow. You may not want weights. Give it a go, though. You're here. Elbows straight up in the air. And I want you to go 90 degrees. Back down. Okay, if this is no good, don't do it. Do it one-handed. Do it no weighted. But do your best. Five, we'll call that. Six. Seven, eight, oh, that's big. Nine, one more, and ten. So your rotator cuff in your shoulder is, either shoulder, both of them have one, is a series of tendons and ligaments and muscles and parts and pieces. It has four muscles, has like 87 ligaments and stuff. So it's not one thing. You tear your rotator cuff, it's got like saying, I tore my car. There's a lot of parts. So... There's more to it. That is a good exercise for your rotator cuff. And it is rotator cuff, not just tater cuff. Those are different. All right, set these damn things down. Let's do something. Bring up your chair. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I got a joke coming on. <laughs> 
So there's a mama tater and a daddy potato and a little girl potato. Hi. Hi. Happy with something? No. Nope. Wanna say hi to the crowd? Oh, okay. Just needed to check on me awkwardly like teenagers can only do. Um, there's a family of potatoes and uh, things are going great. And and one day uh, the little girl potato brings home Walter Cronkite. I don't know, stick with me. And the, you know, the family meets him, everyone's very cordial. But then later on, Daddy Tater looks at little girl potato and says, Yeek. You cannot date Walter Cronkite. And she's like, but daddy. He's like, I don't care. We come from a long line of very fancy potatoes. We are a high society tater. And he is a commentator. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you? All right. Legs out straight in front of you. Let's kick it straight up. <laughs> commentator. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. That's harder than it looks. Six, five, four, three, two. Very nice. Now tuck them in. Knee in, in, in. You want to make sure you go full extension all the way out. Tuck, out, tuck, out. Briar, tuck, tuck, get out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, my abs are feeling that one. Okay, kick a leg up. You're sitting tall, tall. kick your leg up, roll your ankle around. Just do your circles. All right, switch, kick it out, roll your ankle. Your ankle are a strange stack of bones and lindens and ligaments and all sorts of weirdness. I'm not entirely sure how it works or that it works. It's weird. It's a mystery. Let's go to the other side. Pull, point. So pull your toes toward you, point. So take good care of your ankles. If you've ever hurt your ankle, you know. It's important. Point, flex. Okay, other foot. Flex, pull it back. Point it out, flex, knee straight, point, flex, point, and oh, and boy, that got good. <laughs> all right, sit up, all the way up tall. Shoulders over hips, hips on the chair, head over your shoulder. You're gonna crunch straight down your side, not here. I want you up here, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, straight down, six, seven, eight, keep going, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, that's you, Freddy, eight, nineteen, twenty, so we're working out, I'm sending me stuff, busted, kick and reach, Right foot, left hand, left foot, right hand. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a little past there, left, twelve, full 90 degree in, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Googly moogly, y'all. All right, feet out in front of you. Okay, you're having an awesome day. Hold your feet off the floor. Not so much, you don't have to, but you're gonna turn to your right, turn to your left. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And draw up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Good. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, I have, oh yeah, okay, so sitting back nice and long and tall. Now, if you don't have a back on your chair, this is, mm, takes it to a whole nother level. I don't know what a, a, uh, another is, I know what another. Hand over, hand over head, right to left, 
Left to right, arms stay straight, knees stay straight. Let's go 10. One, nine, two, eight, three, seven, four, six, five. One, two, three, I think that worked. Four, five, six, seven, eight, arm up, nine, why do I do this to myself? Let's go. Just to, oh, you're just standing up. Okay. Two phases of standing up. Out of your feet and up. Uh, and then we're just reverse that. Take it down and then shift. So out, up, down, back. Out, up, down, back. Out, up. Down, back, down, up, down, back, out, up, down, back, out, up, down. Whoo, like a train. Let's get five, and four, and three, and two, and one, yo, down, back. So the, the two phases of standing up are important because if you get into the second phase before you're through the first phase, you're just gonna go and really just sit there and rock it back and forth for the rest of your life. You gotta go out over your feet. So practice that. Just come out to what I call the catcher's position. It's the, the gas station hover. And then shift back over your chair. Woo! You can do that you can stand up, okay? So you're going to shift, not touching the chair, gas station hover, back straight, sit back. Ready? Shift forward, hold it, back. Good. I'm trying to think of a joke, but I couldn't come up with one. How I got one? Shift forward. Why don't sharks eat clownfish? Does it taste funny? All right, let that out. Couple more abs. Why? Because your core is important. The core is like the foundation of your house. If you got crap foundation, it doesn't matter if you got the greatest, nicest house in the whole world, it don't fall apart. So tuck, extend, tuck, extend, except your feet can't touch the floor. One, and two, and three. stuff because we've done a lot of arms, we've done a lot of legs, we do some core, but there's lots of different cores. So there's obliquey core, twisting, there's leggy core, we've done a lot of that. Now we need stabilization core. So you can take this to your chair, you can take this to the floor, you can take this to the wall, however you take this. Let's get there. Ready? So, invisible wall, you just hang out here, go as deep as you can. You can go to the back of your chair. You can go to the seat of your chair. Just get there. Or to the floor. My favorite. Hmm? How's it going? All right, kick your heels straight up in the air. Straight legged, straight back. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, rest. Do a cat cow. If you don't want to be on the floor, you can put your hands on the back of the chair or on the seat of the chair, but I want you to arch your back up as high as you can. And then sag down, go. If you're just sitting, I want you to arch. And then chest through, head up. Go. Okay. 
Hit. Go. All right. That's enough of that. One more. At least one more. Type of plank. Okay, dokie. We don't call this a pledge plank because you're going in the plank, you're going to touch shoulder to shoulder. Now, if you're, that's like, hey, you know, hurts, don't do it. Don't do it. But good and strong and stable. Touch, touch. Got it? Let's go. One, two, three, four. If this ends up being too hard, maybe switch to the back of the chair or the wall or the kitchen counter. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stabilization wise, I think that's all we need. So a big part of what your what your abs do, what your core does, is hold you upright all day long. If it's not strong enough, you can't do that. All right, ladies, gentlemen, Kevin. Uh, Let's stress this crap out. I think we've had enough. Grab some water if you want. Otherwise, let's get cooking with this stretch. Fingers first. Yeah. Parkinson's wants to draw you into a little ball. Wants to pull you into a tiny little ball. Crumple you up and throw you away. We will not be allowing that. Other hand. Hand out, pull it back. Hands included. Not only back, head, shoulders, neck, all that mess, but your fingers want to crumple up. Hands behind your back. Pull your arms back. Hands down, chest up. Head up. Remember that you wanted to be the ceiling. Right. Around front. Do your seal limitation. We went to walk-ons yesterday. It's extremely loud, but food is good, which makes it sort of worthwhile. However, while eating some my French fries, which I shouldn't have been eating, but I didn't realize the part of it. But anyway, I got some ketchup in my eyes, so now I have hindsight. <laughs> okay, let's get a foot up on your uh, chair there and lean in and do it. Lean and stay tall. Well, no, not stay tall. Relax your upper body. Push your hip to your thigh. Your upper body can do whatever you want. Pull on your chest. But the thing is, people grab their calf or their foot and pull. And all that does is stretch your back and potentially damage your spine and all the sensitive little muscles and ligaments and tendons that hold your spine together. Switch feet, other one. Pull it forward. So here we're focusing on hamstrings. So you want to stretch the hamstring and not your spine. So just lean it in. You never want to honk on your back. You never want to grab and pull to stretch your back. It needs to be gentle, be nice. Okay. Stand up tall, put a hand out to your side, swing it across the front, give your arm a hug. It's always right there by your side. Jazz hands. So this one-legged uh, hitchhiker the other day walking out in the in the cold. I pulled up next to him, kicked open the door, and said, "Hey, hop in." One leg. <laughs> Other side. Out across. I told this joke, but I told them just recycling things at this point. He looked at me and said. Aren't you like concerned that I'm like a serial killer? I said, what are the chances of two serial killers being out here driving around together? He didn't he didn't say much after that. All right, shrug it out. Nice and tall. Tip your head right. Listen to your shoulder. If it uh, talks to you, let me know. Other side stretch. Tip and stretch, stretch and tip. Stand up tall, turn your head right, tall. 
head, shoulders, hips, feet. One straight line. Not. Huh? All right. Up. Roll out, look straight up. Fly like a bird. Arms up. All oh, anyone rock steady know what this means. Arch over to the side. Hmm. Up and over. Oh, this morning Bryce used preparation H instead of toothpaste. Whew. He did not clean his teeth very well, but he sure can whistle. <laughs> Shoulders and back and wiblets and thistles and arms, and neck, and leg, and hair, and armpits. Relax. All right, stack it all back up one bone at a time. All right, no passing out. Strictly red golfing. Okay, that is it, ladies, gentlemen, uh, Keith. So, Kevin, excuse me. Um, Keith, you're, you're included in the gentleman part. Um, that's what that's what we got. This will this will do. It's what we'll do. What I'll try to put together. I'll try to find the wires that I need to make my um, uh, camera work and like look a little better. But that's what we got. That's what we got for today. So thank you very much for joining me. I'll be uh, I'll, I'll hang around here if you want to keep the chat on. If you got some burning questions, otherwise uh, we'll kick this sucker off. We'll turn it off and be done with our done with our workout. On with the day. All right, y'all take it easy. Be very safe out there. Very careful out in the snow, rain, wind, wet. And uh, hopefully see you on Wednesday or whenever you'll come back to the gym. All right.